Um, is it me, or are the bags under your eyes even darker than during the last round? Uh, thanks for the concern, Kave. I just... Even though I try to fall asleep, I can't get the championship out of my head. <sighs> I know the feeling. That happens to me too when I'm agonizing over my- Do you have any tips for dealing with that? To be honest with you, no. You could say there are many things that don't have a quick fix and can o hmm. I suppose you can think of it as something akin to an illness. Sometimes there's no effective cure, so you just have to let things run- I don't know what's stressing you out. But I can feel all the anxiety and pressure coming from you. Oh, okay. You do your best, too. Looks like everyone's here. I will now explain the second round to you all. There are three leyline disruptors buried in the area. These devices can imitate the effects of leyline disruption and will co- The first three who manage to finish this task, note that each person may only bring a set amount of food- Well, what do you think? Wanna team up again? I shall consider letting you have the points on account of what happened in the previous round. That's all right. I've been here many times, and in any case, machines are one of my specialties. It's good to see such confidence in a youngster like yourself. But aside from us, you should remember that there's a favorite for champion. A favorite to win? Shh! Not so loud. He took first place in the previous round, and if he does so again this time, that boy knows a great deal. Perhaps he might yet follow the trail of some dead. Mm. That's true. It d he already has Kale, who is an excellent pupil. If he were to win this round as well as his senior, it's my solemn duty to prevent such an inequitable arrangement from happening. I'll get going as well. See you- How are you feeling? I think I'm okay. But I'll take things slowly for now. Uh, is this all the water we're getting? Sorry, that's what the rules- Well, this round seems to be about how quickly you can- uh, I knew it'd be harder than I had expected. So, we'll either need to find the devices as quickly as possible- You're welcome. Uh, please, take- Well, there goes everybody! So, who should- Oh, right! right. I went through all my water very quickly, and my ancestors, the Veluka Shuna, were originally from the- uh, This isn't the time for a history lesson- Humans. Such fragile beings. Your bodies can't even survive extreme change- Here, take this. Are you serious? <sighs> this had better be just normal water. I'm on- I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> oh, it wasn't just the two of them. Found you at last. Sino, you're here too! I was concerned, so I came back to check on you. Will you be- The fur on my tail is so dry, it's pr It appears I'm not suited to this particular round. Really? So you're back in- Yes. I do have my results in the first round. Withdrawing now will allow me to conserve my energy. A wise decision. <sighs> Uh, it's fine. Oh, stop trying to be so polite. Ever seen one of these? Oh, reveal thyself.
feeling now, Tainari? Do you want to rest some more? There's some shade here, so we... <sighs> Unfortunately not. I'm not quite as capable as I thought. W withdraw I believe the rules do provide for such a situation. Uh, didn't I ask you if you were all right before this? If you had just decided to withdraw then... Well, I had to try, didn't I? So I tried, and it didn't work out. And when I get back, I'm definitely going to make a batch of sun-resistant oil. By the way, uh, you're Layla, aren't you? Uh... I did feel a little faint when I first entered the desert. Be careful not to push it. Uh, don't... Feeling the pressure? Uh-huh. Your expression is similar to the ones I see on criminals. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure whether I have what it takes. Most people voted for me because of all the rumors surrounding me. And to be honest, those rumors don't really mean anything. Even the people who usually criticize me voted for me this time. So their expectations are put... Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I heard that you were voted in as well, Tainari. To be completely honest, I don't really feel any... Firstly, those who expect things from you do not necessarily do so for benign reasons. On the other hand, those who do consider your... Next, we are researchers. Our primary duty... As for me, I took part in this competition to advertise for an academic lecture at Gandarvaville next month. I think you can also try to find a clearly defined goal. Huh. I understand. Uh, I'm absolutely parched after- I've still got some water with me. No, I'll be alright. We aren't far from Aru Village, so I can go the rest of the way myself. Yes. Alright then. Hey! Don't talk like that! <sighs> Everyone, I'll be heading- I'll continue searching for the ley line to- Are you feeling better? Yeah, I feel like some- It's been a long time since I first left my hometown to come to the Academia. All sorts of complex astrological models, countless When I was chosen as my Darshan's representative, it felt like another boulder was- Yeah, I think that's what Tainari was trying- You're our good friends, which is why you didn't stop him from dropping out of this- That's right! to feel so d uh, that said he did also say that he hopes i could have more anyway i won't take up any more of your time true we should go look for the others uh you could go see how madame farozan's doing i've okay let's go look for Just in time. I'm about to start digging right here. Oh, you found the lake. <laughs> Such a simple problem could not long after entering the desert. I once I got near here, it suddenly disappeared. You're a true expert, Madame Farwes. Well, I do happen to have more experience than Nope! Well then, I suppose I'll be the first. Oh? And why's that? He's not used to being out and about. Huh. I didn't think he would have such a weakness. What about the others? Is that Ratawahist girl still a- Tainari gave Layla some advice, and she seems to be doing a lot better now. So and what about Kave? Has he found a Layla- Paimon doesn't think so, or- Strange. What's he lollygagging for? Well, I'm afraid the most thrilling moments are already-
Unleash! Ever seen one of these? Come on, stop following me! I already gave you all the food I had on me! You can cry all you want. I don't have any more food. All I have left is a half bottle of water, and I can't- Without water, traveling in the desert will be incredibly difficult. Mirak, can you help me out here? Keep them away. Cafe, there you are! Farozan told us to come see how you're doing. What are you up to? <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me upset. Not long after I entered the desert, I was accosted by these fellows. I don't know why, but they didn't leave the competition grounds. And now the ley line disruptions have left them confused and circling around the area. The moment they saw me, they wouldn't leave me alone! Hey, didn't I ask you to keep them away? Kave, is this flying metal- <sighs> That's right. This is my toolbox, Mirac. Your toolbox? Huh. It seems pretty fancy- Sometimes I need to carry things when I go out. Well, this definitely doesn't look like an- It's a long story. When I was working in the desert, I ran into a merchant group who had a- It was clearly from King Deshret's civilization. His technology still isn't fully understood. Our current theories cannot explain such mysteries. Upon seeing such a rare- Some time back, I wanted to make an automated case that could store my offloaded items. It can't understand commands that are too complex, but it can serve as my assistant and help me with things like- Most importantly, it can't talk, so it can't give me any at- Oh, yes. Uh, thanks for helping hide the fact that I live at Alhatham's place earlier. <laughs> <sighs> I hope this season of my life ends soon. So things just started going downhill at some point. Or maybe it's because constructing the Palace of Alcazarzare burned through my funds. Now that I think about it, I guess we're all unlucky here. It's not like any of you asked to be trapped in a ley line disruption. Kave, aren't you going to look for the ley line? Yes, but I can't just leave them. Oh, forget it. The more I think about this, the more I feel time's a wasting. I'm off. Kave looks like he's conflicted. He really wants to win, but Paimon's always felt like he's the type who um. Paimon doesn't mean this in an insulting way, but he seems like the kind of guy who'd be really easy to take advantage of. Whoa, someone's done already! Right? Wonder- Quiet! I'm c <laughs> mm -hmm. Here it comes! I think I'm about to strike gold! Verification complete! Ooh, so Sino is the quickest! I am from Spontamon, after all. 
Since the Traveler and Paimon also happen to be here, do you have anything you want to say? Anything I want to say. The bonds of yesterday will forge the road to tomorrow. That's a line from King of Invocations. One. It might be a good thing that Tainari isn't here. Oh, wow. It's already so late. Everyone's probably... Something similar happened in King of Invocations. Any thoughts on that, Alhatham? <sighs> I have no thoughts regarding King... Nilo obviously wasn't asked... Deserts are much more dangerous at night, so this competition should be near... I wonder who the next person to find... Wait, only three people are left? He also forfeited not long ago. have had to do a lot of running around this time. Really? Wow. The desert's getting colder now that night's falling. Uh, has anyone finished? Sino's already shut one down. I circled the whole area, but I... But I did have the chance to think some more about that. Well, my fellow Ritawahist members must have all put my name forward for diff... But be that as it may, I believe that a lot of them jet... And I want to live up to their expectations. Uh, huh? But doesn't think... Uh, of course, that comes with some amount of pressure for sure. That may not sound like a huge difference to you, but it... Well, that's great! Also, now that I've relaxed... I'm suddenly really sleepy. Uh, I think I'll just take a quick nap. Just a quick one. <coughs> hmm? Uh, but the competition isn't over yet. Uh, oh, Layla, Layla. She's really a bundle of nerves, isn't she? Wait, you're... Uh, good to see you too. Ooh, it's nice to be out. Well, since I'm here, I guess I should help her finish this. What are we supposed to be doing here again? Let me see... Hmm... Come with me, you two. Do you ever get the feeling that the Lelines have a regular flow? Similar to the way that celestial bodies follow fixed orbits. If we were looking down from on high, I wonder whether we'd find that the ley lines are just the reflections of the stars upon the Earth. Not all astrological phenomena can be directly observed. Some are deductions based on other details that we know. It's the same situation with the ley lines. The parts of them that are hidden underground can be identified via elemental energy, sound, and other phenomena. Plus, now that someone has shut one of the disruptors down, the contrast between before and after can provide me with further information still. Uh, let me see. It should be here, I think. Ah, this should be it, right? Nice work! Again, I didn't do any of the real work. I'm just wrap- She'll probably wake up soon. No doubt she'll be a little disoriented at first. Uh, will you be staying here for a while? Oh, time to check our locator. Well, perhaps they're about to find the last disruptor. Also, huh? Why do you- Before the second round, he had a chat with the other me. He said that worries can be like illnesses. They don't always have a magic cure. But the way I see it, his situation is much worse than my other selves. Kaveh, meanwhile, knows what he wants to do. 
He's convinced that he has to win, and yet he doesn't have a second personality, but somehow he's still... Uh, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's like he's smiling on the outside, but there's no joy inside. Still, who knows? He must be more experienced than me. Hmm. Uh, oh, but back to the topic of wrapping up. Shouldn't you be getting back to the action to record how everything plays out? Oh, true. Okay then, guess... Kami and Barozan were super confident at the start, but it turns out they're the... But between the two of them... Finally found it. Kave? Oh, Madame Faruzan. And here I thought you would. Faruzan! Kave! Oh, looks like Layla's already done! I didn't expect that you and I would find a disruptor at the same time. Tainari and Hat Guy forfeited, while Sino and Layla are already done. Uh, huh? Yes, I kept digging, but instead of finding a dis. I fell down pretty deep, and it was completely dark in there. It took me quite some time. That's... actually... Finishing a week's worth of trials in such a short time. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. What about you? Why are you so late? I encountered a lot of lost desert foxes along the way. When I woke up, it was already night. The most curious reason indeed. Ah, uh, But are you sure you're alright? It sounds like you were in an incred... You said you were familiar with the desert. The way you handled... Uh, <laughs> it was problematic, but the, the way I did things wasn't optimal, but... <laughs> Youths these days. But back to the main issue at hand. Since we are both very certain that this is where the final Leyline Disruptor is, let's dig it up then. Well, this is indeed it. Of that... <sighs> what is it, youngster? You... Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that this round... There shouldn't be any more innocent creatures getting wrapped up in... D As for the points, I guess we can draw lots again later. Alright, in that case, let's all head back to... Like the second round is over. I wonder who is faster, Kabe or Madame Farzan? Huh? Where's Madame Farzan? She went to get water. She'll be back shortly. <sighs> you get caught up in something so easily. I'm not caught up in anything. Don't make it sound like I take. Really? Then should I say that you have a curious. Um, I'll go get the box and slips of paper for the lots. Please wait a moment. <laughs> Oh, here we go again. Let's see how I fare. I got it. Did you see that? I... Congratulations. Looks like Kaveh's luck's taking a turn for... Oh, finally. After all this time. <gasps> it looks like you've been rewarded for your tribulations in the desert. <laughs> and with that, our second round is done. As for the current standings, Lim Sino and Layla both have four points, putting them both in first place. The next round will be the final one. I heard that some stalls at the Wisdom Gala are debuting new...
mind this entire time. Traveler, Paimon. I finally found you. Finally? Don't you feel like there's something off about this year's academia extravaganza? When Candace and I were at the cafe earlier, we might have caught sight of some mercs on business. Thing is, they were disguised as tourists here to shop. But no disguise can mask the stench of blood. We eavesdropped on them for a while. Their target seems to be someone called Sachin. Sachin? Isn't that the person? He's apparently the sponsor. <sighs> Sounds like a rich person, all right. The Aramites have been struggling to make ends meet recently. So a lot of groups have been doing private, in their words. One gig sets you up for half a year. The extravaganza has brought many tourists to Sumeru City all at once. So it's likely that they took advantage of the bustle to sneak in. Dia and I wanted to directly capture them, but they were on guard and made some excuse to slip away. I would have tied him up if it wouldn't have caused a scene. Who's legally supposed to take care of this kind of thing? Mm. If Sino were here, he'd definitely get him. Thanks a million, you two. Not at all. It was coincidence on our part as well. Yeah, don't sweat it. The Aramite's reputation is gonna get even worse if these scumbags succeed. Hmm, but this is Sumeru City. Candace and I don't have as much freedom to act here, so we're leaving this in your hands. Should you require our aid, come find us at the cafe. Paimon's noticed that something's bucking you. Is it the ex- Ugh. Wait. Hello, both. It's been a while. Someone's planning to kidnap Sachin. The growing popularity of the extravaganza has given him quite the reputation. Well, since he's got a target on his- To tell you the truth, we've thought about doing just that. Our only lead is something he once said. Assuming he remains committed to that promise- So, they shouldn't know where Sachin- I would assume not. Don't you worry. A couple of kidnappers aren't gonna get very far in soon All of that said, if you're interested in Sachin's story, the sooner we ascertain his whereabouts, the quicker we can act to ensure his safety. Fair point. Guess we should start searching- None, I'm afraid. He's never committed any crimes or- I've heard that Al Haytham has now stepped down from his post as- Good idea! Okay, we'll head back to the extrav- He's always the first to leave after the competition ends. Huh. Yep. Hmm. To him, being a commentator is just extra work he was roped into. Uh, there's still one more round to go. Oh, here's a thought. Paimon remembers that his house isn't that far from here. You oh, Kave, you're home. Come on in, I'll get the door for you.
We didn't hear a peep when we first knocked. We thought no one was home. Well, I can't be too careful. If someone from the academia came here looking... You're pretty conscientious about... So, what happens if someone comes inside? I it's fine, as long as I stay in my own room. Anyway, why would someone just barge in here? Uh, fair enough. So do you know... What do you think? Who knows what he does in his free time? All that matters to me is that he's out... I wouldn't call it that. He's... I told him how the second round went. I won the lot draw, remember? Because of good karma, of course. But him, being him... Oh, you're always quick to remind me that you're my upperclassman, and yet you do not problem-solve in the manner becoming of an upperclassman. And he didn't stop. I'd encourage you to reflect on why you've ended up having to rely on luck and <laughs> Yeah, that does sound like- I've had it with him. Every time I talk to him, it's- <sighs> Anyway, the disdain is very much mutual between us, so I'll be moving out as soon as possible. I'm actually packing my things right now. See those perfectly hung paintings on the walls? They're coming with me, too. Wait, you're moving out already? But the competition isn't even over yet! Well, obviously I can't just yet. I'm just packing early to get ahead. I've got my new place picked out already. The moment I have my hands on the prize money, I'm going to buy it and- I now know what I have to do to achieve this goal. Hmm? In what way? Layla said that she thinks you'll get caught up- Meaning what, exactly? Oh, don't tell me you- th oh, We didn't say that! <laughs> but think about it! Wait, what's so unusual about all that? <sighs> well, when you put it like that... Yes, why- But thinking like that all the time must make your life so exhausting! It's complicated, I- <sighs> Look, let's... Sachin. Huh. I remember he brought a few documents home that day. Ah, this is the... Uh with taking liberties? He's- And anyway, he did ask me if I wanted to read his- He doesn't leave documents lying around unless he's- Cool! If you say so! That was a lot of information. So, uh, to sum up, Sachin put the academia in- He even said that if he really liked one of the contestants- What? Are you serious? All of Sachin's wealth, that's... More than I could spend in a lifetime, surely. Heck, if I could build another palace of Alcazar's array. Oh, then there's that new project in Port Ormos, of course. Hey! Hey! Snap out of it! You uh, uh, you're right. First, I need to focus on- Huh? Wait a moment. There's a loose slip- Did I'll hate them like this? It looks like he was jotting ideas. Sachin, dead or alive? Uh, some of this stuff is just plain incomprehensible. Let me see. Huh. <clears throat> Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism. Hmm? There's another smaller line of text under- Wow! It's so cool that you We worked together on a project once when we were students. The ti- Oh, interesting! So... Huh. <laughs> Who knows? The way his mind works is one of the great mi- Fair enough! Well, guess we've learned all we can here. Yeah, he better catch those crook- Hmm, little decisions.
Ah, uh, you're here. Sorry, I was just about to send someone to inform you. What did you find out? Well, lots of the mercs themselves were surprisingly easy to catch, but then it starts to get messy. What? Why would someone want to- It's anybody's guess at this point. We're diverting manpower as we speak to try and- Sure! We got more company. Look, we were just doing what we were paid to do. You're punishing the wrong people here. You want the real culprit? It... <clears throat> what happened? Who beat you all up? Wait, you mean you aren't with them? With who? Uh, first there was this flying brat. Didn't bother asking any questions, just started throwing punches. After that, some guy wearing green came along. I've got the confirmation I needed. This is the one who masterminded this whole plot. If you have any questions for him, now's your chance to ask them. When you're done, I'm arresting them all. So why did you hire people to kidnap Sachin? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Twenty years ago, he upped and left to go and live a carefree life. As if that's not bad enough already, he wouldn't put his entire fortune in the care of the academia, along with a contract. So that's my inheritance. By rights! You expect me to sit back and watch it go to someone else? Of course! Didn't he say he would be here somewhere, watching the champion? So, I figured I'd get some people to nab him. Then I make him change the contract. And if the Academia doesn't agree to hand over the goods, I make him publicly announce that I'm his chosen- No. The old fart knows how to stay hidden. I'll give him that. He's probably cooped up somewhere watching all this go- <clears throat> I already thought he'd gone mad 20 years ago. And who knows what a madman... Diadem of knowledge. You mean that thing he donated to the act? Well, I can tell you that it's very expensive. Huh. <laughs> Weird things started happening after he brought it home, too. For example, sometimes we'd hear a high-pitched voice. Also, before donating it to the academia, he once shut himself in that si Something was already seriously wrong with him by that point. What do you mean, something wrong? I only have a vague memory of it, since I was very young at the time. But I have the impression that he went when he finally did return, he was a changed person. I asked if I could see what he'd written, but he chased me out of the room. Later, he went part of me wonders whether he'd already stopped being my father by that point. Perhaps the man we called uh, okay, you can stop now. You, you can believe me or not. Doesn't matter to me. I told you all I know. But if you do see Sachin, whatever it is that he's researching out there, he'll always be garbage in my eyes. You finished? In that case, come with us. Well, we finally caught the guy behind all this. Do you still have any lingering concerns? Yeah! Alhatham's no- Scribe Alhatham looked into this matter. Hmm. Understood. Well, if you believe that- That makes sense. Okay then, let's get back to the venue. back. Where have you been? I looked everywhere for you. We were out capturing some bad guys who wanted to kill- But that's not important right now. We- The diadem? That seemed- The diadem of knowledge has been used in every extravaganza of- Hmm... Okay, here's the situation. In the third round, contestants have to go into mounting- Considering how close the scores are between our- As such, 
I suspect competition to be- I'll mark the Diadem's location for you. All right, let's- That's weird. The locator stopped working. Is the forest- Looks like Layla has seized the diadem. But getting to the goal won't be easy. Competition is heating up. Oh. And here's Kave bringing up the rear. Someone to inherit my estate, and with it, my research. Come, Kave. Come to me, my child. How do you know my name? Who are you? I am Sachin. Well, to be precise, I am but a fragment of Sachin's mind. Fate is a curious thing. Seeing you reminds me of another I once met. But you are made of sterner stuff than he. We meet for the first time, children. But what I mean to say now is of utmost importance. You have all performed outstandingly in this Interdashant Championship. The Academia has many rare talents among its rare- But if I were to choose a successor, 
I would choose you, Kaveh. Not only because you were victorious. Uh, me? Why, yes. Both of us have the misfortune to be ideal. Twenty-eight years ago, I came to the desert and lived there for eight full years. What do you think I saw there? Conflict over water sources. Robbing of merchant caravans. Exploitation of the people relentlessly, day after day. Beyond the wall of Samiel lay a completely different world from the one I knew. The things I witnessed there tormented me greatly. I wished desperately to find a way to save them. So, did you find a way? As a Vahumana scholar, I tried to use Vahumana. I researched history and anthropology, performed countless experiments on human but in the end, I found that the answer I sought, it was not possible to simply assign blame for these transgressions to any one party. For the sins are carved into humanity's very nature. Our nature begets conflict. And the aim of my research was to draw lessons from history. But what I discovered was that history offers no such guidance. After this realization, I could no longer see the meaning in anything that I had ever learned. Consumed by an overwhelming sense of emptiness. But before I went through with it, a strange twist of fate led me to come into the possession of this diadem, which has the ability to preserve part of one's consciousness. As I thought, the contract you signed with the Academia was in essence your will. But if you'd given up hope on this world... I mentioned that I had performed a great many experiments concerning human nature. The Academia has no shortage of genius talents, nurturing the brightest minds of every generation. And so, with a handsome reward to draw out the worthiest of individuals, my- I see. So you desired a successor who was not only a genius, but who also understood the suffering of ordinary people. Huh? But did you ever consider that wealth numbs the human heart to the pain in the world? Even an idealist may be incapable of following through on your wishes. You are highly intelligent. Yet you are not the sort of person who would understand my line of thinking. Whether my successor suffers as a consequence of my research, or succumbs to an indulgence in pleasure-seeking, I grieve the fundamental sickness of the world. I regret- And this, Kave, my dear child- Your- you're absolutely certain that you want to give me- I have faith in what I see in you. Now wear the diadem, Kave, and complete the journey that I could not. <sighs> will the verdict I reached cause you suffering, or will this newfound wealth numb your heart? I look forward to your answer. All of my research materials are being stored at all. Huh? I've heard enough! My life's enough of a mess already. The last thing I need is more suffering. Keep your mora. I don't need it. Didn't you say that you saw a lot of people in pain? Well, if that's the case, then your wealth can go to them. I guess. Kave. Are you all right? Any physical discomfort? I'm fine. <sighs> Thanks, Tainari. Don't don't push yourself too hard. Kave. Kave may have broken the diadem, but he successfully completed the ta- According to the rules, this makes him the victor of round three. As the champion and Sachin's personally designated successor, for the avoidance of doubt. Can you confirm that it is your intention to donate all of Sachin- Like I said, he thought that the world is a bad place. Rejecting the world will achieve nothing. All right. As the scribe, the sages will contact you in person for details on how exactly S That sounds fine. I don't know if his research findings were right. But what I do know is that by ending this here, nope, we won't be the last. There will be more championships to come. Sachin's words can only cause pain. But we're all scholars here. 
I know full well that shutting down his views like this is autocratic and arrogant. It's the least I can do. And... Hmm. Well said. What you've expressed is a sense of justice and ideal. I say this despite the fact that, in my view, it's quite ridiculous. Nevertheless, your perspective is well suited to appearing in a victory speech. <sighs> what? Please. I don't need your insincere praise. Anyway, this isn't the time or place for debates. Keep your commentary focused on the- Congratulations, Kave. Also, you'll need to prepare for- Looks like the ceremony will be held at the main venue. Let's head over and check it out! Thank you all for your excellent performance. Finally, it gives me great pleasure to invite... Typically at this point, we would crown our champion with the diadem as well as... However, we have just received word that Kave... <gasps> So much more. Kaveh's generosity will give many struggling families the chance to change their life. Of course, without the diadem and prize money to present, this makes the award ceremony a little more concise than expected. Would you like to say a few words, Kaveh? I'm sure many of our audience, like my- I'm... not entirely sure what I should say under these circumstances. I'm glad to have won. As for why I want to give the Mora away... I don't support Sachin's views and I don't want to take his mora. Anyway, this isn't really the time and place for such weighty and compl- Oh, Kave, uh, just one moment. While this is a short and sweet award ceremony, we do still have a prize to present you with. Please take this limited edition Genius Invocation TC- Additionally, your champion status will be logged in your- <sighs> All right, I'll take the card. But as for project proposals- In that case, I declare the award ceremony over. I still don't really get it. The sum of Mora would have been enough for me to live in luxury for my entire life. That just means you're not strange enough to understand the way that geniuses think. Come on. <sighs> Glad that's over. I think I'm quite good at giving speeches, but... Do you mean that you're still exhausted from the competition? I suppose... <sighs> So you're gonna give it to him? But if it's a rare one, you ship- Why would I do that? It's of no use to me whatsoever. Whoa, whoa, this is a super big deal. You should do- Huh? But I was gonna rest for a while longer. Uh, uh, hey, hey, stop pulling my hair. What you looking at, Sino? I'm still thinking about the Sachin issue. Well, they gave me this limited edition Genius Invocation card, and I figured you'd have more use for it than I. But it's a limited edition. Are you sure you want to give it to me? What else would I do with it? I have no use for it. <gasps> but it's limited edition. Kaveh, are you in trouble? You don't have to do all this. Just tell me what's wrong and- oh, That's not what I meant at all. Yes, I have all sorts of problems, but that has absolutely nothing to do with this card. I'll f All right. In that case, I- But now that I realize that you have no concept of its value, I cannot simply take it from you. How about this? I shall buy it from you at a fair price. Namely, the price that the previous limited edition cards- Oh, come on. It's just one card. How much could it really be worth? One million more, at the very least. Huh? How much?! A million more?! If you feel that's too low... One million more for a card?! But you already have a whole bunch of these... uh... shiny ones, don't you? I saw your deck- Not every card is this valuable, and some cards are exquisite. Huh. Well, I guess they must pay you plenty to be General Mahamatra if you're- But really, it's fine. 
I'd feel bad taking Mora from a friend. Don't feel bad. I save a lot. Uh, you don't spend all your savings on your hobbies, do you? Sounds like you're speaking from personal experience. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. In that case, maybe you're the one who should be listening to your advice. In any case, I, Sino, will take this precious card, and it shall join the de- All right, if you insist. Far be it from me to refuse your courtesy any further. Well, at least I'll be able to keep on top of my bills this month. Well, this is what they call op- hmm. Paima wonders how the other contestants are doing. Let's go- I'm telling you, you can't go wrong taking advice from me on what to wear. Back in the day, my fashion style was considered... Really? Well, then, uh, sure. M ma Farazan! Nilu! <gasps> Even D.I. Kick! Candace and I bumped into these two while we were strolling through the streets. Madame Farazan here is pretty friendly. When she heard that we were buying clothes... Hmm. I don't really see anything I'm familiar with. Let's go with the plain fabric as our base. And... Oh, wait a sec. Uh, you sure that's the latest style? That sounds a lot like what the older folks back home would... Don't worry! This style is a timeless classic. Uh, no thanks. This is actually sound. Wait, wait, wait. Madame Parzan's right. That style is a classic. If you don't mind, how about I pick some clothes out for everyone? It's not often that we get to meet up, especially since Candace rarely makes it to Sumeru City. Also, I know a few places where I can get a great bargain. Sure. I'm happy to leave it to you. I'll come with you to have a look. One always has to keep on top of what the youth of today are into. Madame Farazan? Uh, come quick! She's over here! Hmm? Who are you? We're new in the Academia. We saw all the amazing things you did during the competition. Ahem. Of course I do. That's great! We can't wait. Um, what's your area of research? I'm from Haravatat. Uh-huh. But you seem like an expert in machines. Wait, sorry. I remember now. You were representing the Haravatat. Oh, their classes are so boring, though. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I knew it. What about you? Aren't you going to leave with your friend? I think you're amazing, Madame Farazan. And I'd like to learn from you for a while, if possible. I can take the class you're teaching as an option. If I see. You're a good egg, child. Don't worry. Study under me, and I promise you, you will get the best teaching available. Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, I won't disturb you any further. See you in class. I don't quite understand what happened there, but congratulations, I think. Traveler, Paimon, would you two like to come and pick out some clothes? Sorry, we can't. We've got a meal with Kave later, and we have to check in with all the other contestants before... Oh, by the way, have any of you seen Hat Guy? Or like... I don't know where Hat Guy went. We just saw Layla not too long, but she was hanging out with some other Ratahua students, so we didn't get a chance to speak with her. Ratahua students? They must be the ones who voted for her to enter the competition. Oh, she didn't end up winning, so Paimon wonders how they feel about... If you don't come to Sumeru City often, classic floral designs aren't a bad choice. Those don't really go out of style. And of course, since you're putting this on your body, you need to consider the type of fabric the clothes are made from. So much agreed. After all, is fashion not the constant phasing in and out of classics? And Wait, uh, sorry ma'am, but I think it could be quite- I actually think the style recommended by Madame Farouzan is quite beautiful. Isn't it just? You have a discerning eye, my dear.
sorry, everyone. Oh, stop it. If you're going to beat yourself up after doing as well as you did, how bad does that make us look, huh? I didn't see the whole thing, but you were the only contestant who scored points in both the first two rounds, right? And I heard that you actually found the diadem first in round three. Aw, I just got lucky, I think. That can't be true. You had some really stiff competition out there. The renowned Tainari from Amorta, even Sino the General Mahamatra was there. Getting points off them is a huge achievement. The way I see it, people aren't exaggerating one bit. Oh, thanks a lot. But I really don't think I qualify as a genius. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've decided we're taking... Let's go. Cheer up, Layla. The rest of today's all... Ab Looks like things are going well for Layla. This is... Hmm. We haven't seen that guy since the end of... Uh, I can't believe it. But in the end, no one was disappointed in me. Ah, uh, what a relief. Finally. Ooh, I can get some good sleep. Are you sure you have enough to cover this? Don't blow it all at once. Don't worry. I budgeted very carefully, and this is well within my means. Anyway, I've lost count of how many times you've treated me. Oh, Traveler! Paimon! Over here! Ooh, look at all this! Good food! I heard that you went to see the other contestants. How's everyone doing? Farazan found herself a student, and Layla's classmates are bowled over by how well she did. All Haytham's gone missing in action, too. <laughs> the one time I'm actually in a good enough mood to treat him to a nice meal. <sighs> that guy. Where the heck could he have gone? <sighs> well, whatever. He can do what he wants. You shocked me a little when you hurled the diadem to the ground. On further reflection, of course, it made Sachin's voice started talking to me inside my head from the moment I picked it up. I could feel his emotions, too. He bombarded me with his ideas relentlessly, like he was trying to brainwash me. Like I was saying at the time, his views are not necessarily completely without value. But if all his research does is lead to misfortune... If his forbidden research were to spread in a harmful form, and cause people to suffer, I think you did the right thing. I suppose another way to approach it would have been to claim that you agreed to inherit his research, but give up the research as soon as you- I won't comment on his theories or experiments, but I don't believe that he was careless in his choice of candidate. Perhaps. I just think that if you accept someone else's things- That's a good thing. It means that you have integrity. Thank you, oh my god, thank you. See, you get me, Kale. It's a good thing Al Haytham isn't here right now. He'd be quick to explain why you're wrong. Seems like you always include him in the conversation. You yep. No dinner with Kave is complete without a few words about Al Haytham. I sense that Al Haytham has in fact been here with us all along. He's here? Where? Why didn't you tell me? He lives rent-free in each of our hearts. 
<sighs> oh, that was horrifying. It literally sent chills down my spine. Good thing you didn't say that before we started eating. That would have killed- All right, enough about all hate them. Tainari, did you achieve what you wanted? I did. In the first round, in fact. Word of mouth proved very effective. I spoke to a handful of people, they told their friends, and- Oh, are, are you free next month? You should come along. About what? I don't know the first thing about any- Just play to your strengths. For instance, you could talk about the distinguishing features of rainforest architecture. Oh, well that's no problem. Sure, I'll make- Has everyone had enough to eat? I can order more if- I'm full. Thanks. I'm like super full, too. Yeah, we should do this more often. Work will always be there, but seeing friends is important, too. Sounds good. We should pick a few other places as back- There are other good places around here, too? Oh. Kabe, do you have plans after this? I was thinking of maybe going to the Academia for some alone time. Nothing set in stone, though. Why do you ask? Mm, since everyone is free, why don't we play a few matches of Gene? Eager to show off your new limited edition card. Not to show off. This is my way of thanking you for your help. Only my best friend. All right, sure. I didn't bring my deck with me though, so. Actually, Master, I made a new one a few days back. <sighs> don't tell me you've been spending all your study hours playing cards. Come on, no need to be so stern. They do say that your innate interests are your best teacher, don't they? Didn't expect to run into you here. Oh, hey, Thumb. What are you doing here? And what are you reading? Sachin's notes. I came across his profile while I was organizing. If it wasn't for that, I never would have agreed to being a commentator. Wait. So, are you alright? How do you feel? I think you may have misunderstood something. The reason Sachin chose that architect to inherit his research was that only he could really empathize with both the calamity. Only one who resonates with these sentiments would suffer and begin to think of history as bleak. Empathy is a double-edged sword. Clearly, I am not the same. Empaths have many friends, and their wide social circle. Why is that? All important things in life involve other people. If you really want to achieve your goals, you have to be prepared to make enemies along the way. And that reality is like the material here. So, what are your thoughts now? As a scholar, Sachin was without a doubt. He laid the blame for the darkness in the world squarely on humanity. So, people are bad? That is not a question for me to answer. All I will say is that the world is not built. Lofty ideals may provide no def- By their own choice, the idealist seeks to bring happiness to all- I've never been able to agree with certain- But sadly, all viewpoints will f All right then. I got what I came for. Wait, so you came here just to read this stuff? A uh, get-together? Ah, yes. Guess what? Kaveh treated everyone
and this. Then I'm sure he packed up the leftovers for me. See ya. And there he goes. Well, it seems like he really wasn't affected by this research. He said that someone else would answer our... Traveler, Paimon, you're already here. Nishina! Oh, and that guy. Wait, so you asked him to take part in the chin? <laughs> yes, it was me. Did you know that there was something wrong with the diadem from the start? And if... Because Sachin's research is not mistaken. These are the crystallization of his wisdom. So instead, I had that guy here help me keep an eye on things. Seriously? I think you can stop calling me that now. Why? Don't you like... <sighs> well, anyway... If Sachin's chosen successor hadn't been able to handle his research... And after all that... The person Sachin chose... Turned his nose up at his life's work. Pretty hilarious. I was also hoping that this could be an opportunity for you to learn how to interact with people normally. That wasn't necessary. I'm still paying you back for your help. And the last thing I need is more reasons to be indebted to you. Nada, what did you mean by Sachin's research is not mistaken? Hmm, put it this way instead. Some people only see the mushroom on the shroom boar's back. Others see only the shroom boar's body. And they declare that the sh Still others look deeper inside. And these conclusions are all correct in their own way. But none of them objected. Paimon kind of gets it. The world is the same way. No one, not within the confines of our limited knowledge. In truth, the most important thing isn't what state the world is in now. Ultimately, my duty as the God of Wisdom is to guide every- That was a long speech. So what are you actually going to do? Because Kaveh has the successor of this research, but even though Sachin's research could be considered negative wisdom, it is still a building block of the truth. I also look forward to the day that a member of the Vahumana Darshan can- <laughs> Vahumana doesn't have that kind of talent. <laughs> I don't remember signing up to become a scholar. Don't you think I'm useful enough to- you? Oh boy, here we go again. You think so? Well, to that, I would say that in Sumeru, even prisoners have a right to an education. I hope that your studies in Vahumana will help you deal with your own fate. I will reveal your final thesis myself. Where were you while the rest of us were eating together? I don't recall being obligated to report my whereabouts to you. Did you go find another hidey hole to read in? You need to change your ways, you know. You can Surviving on meals paid for by you would be harder still. You? <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't take a genius to guess what you've been up to. His way of doing things is disturbing, while you... Well, to be fair, your philosophy disgusts me too, but you and Sachin are nothing alike. My personal interests aside, Sachin's legacy is not entirely meaningless. He conducted experiments on a great scale and left his... Also, thanks for the compliment. But I'm actually just passing through. What do you mean? What topic of conversation could be more sacred among scholars than the exploration of differing philosophies? Well, based on what I've learned, Sachin and his disturbing way of doing things, as you put it, is very likely to have met your father. What did you say? Wait, so... No. <laughs> so that's why you thought I looked familiar? My father must have gone into the desert to- I'm afraid so. <sighs> Good thing I shattered that diadem. From now on, nothing like that will ever have to happen again. The boundaries of knowledge are ever-expanding. 
Oh, not this again. Even if you're right and peep, you have to admit that the actions of one individual don't always predict the behavior of the group. And, and so is the one who stopped him. You. Conflict, you said it yourself. The- uh, Even so, I stand by my views. That's fine. We've been arguing over this for years, and I- Thanks for letting me know all this. Uh, what? I said, thanks for letting me know. Hey, stop acting like you didn't hear me. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? They say that earnest thanks should be given thrice, so one more time, please. Yeah.